Hi everyone, and welcome to this short number talk video. In this video, we are going to discuss the addition strategy of decomposition. So we use decomposition to break numbers down into more manageable or friendly parts that we can then add together. So let's say for this example, we are adding the numbers 28 and 39. I'm going to show you three different examples about how we can decompose 28 and or 39 to make them more manageable and friendly to add them together and get a sum. So in our first example, I'm going to decompose both 28 and 39 into their parts. So 28 plus 39, I can decompose 28 into 20 plus 8, and I can decompose 39 into 30 plus 9. So now that I have my individual parts written out, I'm going to add them together. Now because in addition I can add any of them in any order I want, it doesn't matter which numbers I start with. I like to start with the larger numbers to get them out of the way and then continue with our one by one digit numbers. So if I start with 20 plus 30, that equals 50. Continuing with my 50, I can then add 9, and that is 59. And then I can continue with my 59 again, so 59, and I'm going to add the last number that I haven't added yet, which is 8. So 59 and 8. Now, I could use some friendly numbers again. I know 59 is close to 60, and if I had 60 and I added 8, that would be 68. But since I have 59 and 8, that is going to be 67. So there's our first example of decomposing 28 and 39. Another way I could do this is if I only decompose one of the numbers. So I'm going to start again by writing out my question. 28 plus 39. Since 39 is close to 40, I'm going to decompose 28 so I have numbers that, are, that I can add to 39 to make it into 40. So I might decompose 28 into 27 plus 1. So I'm going to start with that. So if I have 39 and I add 1, now I get to 40. And 40 is a friendly number that I can work with a lot easier. I still have this 27 here though. And that might be more difficult to add to my 40. So if I wanted, I could again decompose 27 even further. I could decompose that into 20 plus 7. And now I can add these parts together. So I'm going to continue with my 40. So I have 40. To that, I'm going to add the 20. And that equals 60. 40 plus 20 is 60. And I have left this last part here, which is 7. And I can add 60 plus 7, and that equals 67. Good news so far is both my solutions are the same, which means I'm probably on the right track, hopefully, with my addition and working out to get the same solution. My third example now, I'm going to decompose 39 instead of the 28, because I can see my 28, if I write the question out again, 28 plus 39, 28 is close to 30. So if I decompose 39 into, let's say, 37 and 2, then I can make my 28 30 and work with that friendly number. So keeping 28 the same, I'm not going to decompose that, but decomposing 39 into 37 plus 2. 37 plus 2 is 39. Now I can add 28 plus 2 and my sum is 30. So here I'm at a friendly number. Now to my 30, I could add 37 and go straight to 67. So I could do 30 plus 37. Now this could work because we know 30 and 30 make 60 and I have the seven. So that might be an easy way if you see that to add 30 and 37 and get 67. Like we did though with option number two here, or example number two, we could decompose the 37 again into 30 plus seven. So if that's more, if that's easier for you or more manageable, 
you can skip down to this step here, and we can go to 30, continue with the 30, and add that down here, plus 30. You know what, I'm just gonna draw a little wavy line just to separate, just to separate that. So 30 plus 30, as we said, is 60, and then I have this seven here that I need to add on, so I can get my 60 plus seven, and that, of course, equals 67. And again, first strategy, second strategy, third strategy of decomposition, but I'm still getting the same sum with either part. So this is using the addition strategy of decomposition. Depending on how you see the numbers or your comfortability with the numbers, you can decompose them into a variety of different ways that work for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the link below. Hit that like button and come back for more Number Talk strategies. Thank you.